joje sili, ne bodilni kraj naš, vi će tak rišilo, s tebom ili viter, tvoj korom li daje, mešta kijati viter, Božen to zak znaje. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the SSC Arena Wembley here in London, England, live on Sky Sports Box Office and DAZN for the featured bout of the evening. Twelve rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBO Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with K2 Promotions and Haymaker Boxing. Sponsored by Betfred, Lannistar, Wow Hydrate, and JD Sports. This bout is sanctioned under the auspices of the World Boxing Organization. The president, Francisco Paco Barcarcel. The supervisor is Dennis Gilmartin. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside. From Denmark, Jan Christensen. From Russia, Yuri Kapsev. And from England, Bob Williams. Your timekeeper, British Boxing Hall of Famer, Mr. Bob Edgeworth. And at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring from England, A-star referee, Mr. Phil Edwards. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring here in Wembley, London, England, this is it. The time has come. The fight! Starts now! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing with his head trainer, Alex Dimitrez. He wears the white trunks. He scaled 18 stone, three pounds, eight ounces. His professional record, 32 victories against nine defeats. He has 23 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Finchley, North London, England. He is the former British, Commonwealth, European, WBA and WBO international champion, and the reigning and defending WBO intercontinental heavyweight champion. Chisora. And his opponent across the ring of fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Yuri Kachenko. He wears the white trunks. He scaled 15 stones, 7 pounds, 4 ounces. His professional record, 
a perfect one. 17 fights, 17 victories, 13 of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Kiev, Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2012 Olympic gold medalist and the former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, Pani Tapanova Vitayu Oleksandr Usyk. Usyk. Here we go then, main event time, Alexander Usyk, always a slow starter against Derek Chisora. A big, physical, powerful, durable heavyweight. No disrespect to Chaz Witherspoon, a step up from what he's seen before. How will he cope? Scheduled for 12, and everybody, absolutely everybody, says there's only one way Chisora can win this fight, and that is not going the distance and outboxing this man. He has got to find a way to get Oleksun and Alexander Usyk out of there. And the longer it goes on, it's a scuffing right hand there, and then he follows up with the body shot. The longer it goes on, the more you feel Usyk will settle into it. So these are the danger rounds for the Ukrainian. And he's certainly coming out, looking to put the pressure on here early. The size difference is even more striking when you see them in the ring stripped off. That boy has to pressure, 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 just like this. So, and try not to take too much damage on, while going in. It's, it's his game plan to try and tire Usyk out going down the stretch. But to do that, he's going to have to press and press and press and take a lot of the way. Great right hand. Right hand. Now, Usyk was susceptible to a couple of counter right hands early against Chaz Witherspoon. They didn't bother him at all. Chaz was a late sub coming in, but there's nothing about Derek Chisora that will resemble Chaz Witherspoon. If he starts catching you with those right hands, you're going to feel him. Anybody would. He's got Usyk's attention early here, that is for sure. It's so different, isn't it, how Tony Bellew boxed him, and Tony's been talking about this this week, when he boxed him for the, uh, with all those belts on the line, he said, I tried to bring Usyk to me. And that's why I had some success early, but Chisora's not much mucking about with that. He's just going straight in, closing the distance, trying to get the big bombs off. David Hay, his mentor, said, you're going to see Derek Chisora like you've never seen him before. He has to be better than he's ever been before to have any chance. Got the body shot in there at the back end of that little exchange. He knows he's going to have to take shots on the way, and just like that. He's hoping that he, as long as he doesn't take anything too significant, he knows this will take a lot more out of Alexander Usyk than it will take out of him. Because of the size, of, because of the extra weight. When he gets Usyk to the ropes, he should be pounding any way he can get. He may not make connection with the face or with, with the body, but hit him on the arms, hit him on the hips, hit him on the elbows, any way you can, just to start all those little things will start taking their toll. Good, good right hand. Shot right hand there from Chisora. And that's one big thing, and uh, look at this. Usyk having a word with Phil Edwards on the bell there. Chisora came out looking to rough this guy up. No respect to reputations there. Poured a lot into that. Surely there's no way he can keep up that pace, Chisora, but boy, it's going to be all or nothing for these first three or four rounds, you feel, from Chisora, and if he can catch him clean, it will be so interesting to see how Usyk takes it. You can see with the extra weight in on Chisora, he's able to manoeuvre and move Usyk around the ring, and even that punch there landed on the chest, but it, it had an effect. <laughs> Anthony Joshua looking on. Corners! <laughs> <laughs> 
Tennyson. The winner of this one, incidentally, pointing out is uh, mandatory for Joshua's WBO title. Which will create an interesting situation. And all that is for the future. Well, he's in with a real life heavyweight now, Alexander Usyk. And he didn't look too comfortable in there in that first round either. And the, I was going to say, Andy, just before the, the bell there as well, the thing with, we've seen with, with Chisora over the course of his career, he can absorb a lot of punishment. I remember that Carlos Takam fight not that long ago, and he was just getting battered around the ring, turned it around, got the stoppage. I don't know that Usyk's got the, the, the pure power to bother him early. It's whether he can just sustain this. If he can, Usyk's going to be in a real battle for as long as Chisora can keep this going. If Chisora starts to flag, that's when he's in trouble. Another big load up right hand that missed badly. It's if one of these lands. Two fights ago, Chisora fought Alex Arthur Spicker. A southpaw, a guy with sim similar stature and build of Yusek. And the one punch Chisora's out of the land was the rover hand right. And you can see he's looking for it here all the time. He's looking to step in with his head crouch and throw his right hand over the top. Looked good against Spilka, didn't he? Got him out of there very early. You said being clever, not really loading up too much and not holding his feet, always looking to take the little, take the distance, take a little step back out of range. But I do believe this will be taking its toll on Yusek. This, the extra weight being pushed around like this, something he's not been used to. A powerful, physical, big heavyweight. It's the biggest challenge he's faced. And look at this. Getting through with those right hands here. Chisora Usyk in full defensive mode here. And Chisora's not giving him any breathing room. And he lands a right hand there. Chisora knows, as you said, Andy, he's going to have to take some on his way in. And are they going to have another right hand? Yeah. Are they going to have any effect on him? And Usyk is not enjoying this at all. Another look at uh, the referee there. That's always a sign as well. Clinging on to Chisora here, complaining about the low blows. And looking very, very unsettled here, Usyk. Landing some shots. Usyk there. And again, Chisora. Just trying to close him down. And make this very, very hot. For one of the pound for pound greats in the game right now. And I would have thought if you could hear from David Hay how he feels it's going. I don't think there's much David Hay would want to change here. This surely is going according to the game plan. I thought at this point, this is what Chisora would be doing, but I thought he'd be eating a lot more punches coming into the distance, trying to get close to Usyk. All of this cuffing punches are in the exchanges like this. One thing they hurt, but they also take your energy. All this holding and mauling and fighting on the inside. That's twice already he's looked to the referee. I always say that is not a good sign. But the big, big question, that's two rounds gone. How many rounds can Derek Chisora sustain this pace for? Round three. So far, Chisora's been pretty much untroubled. He's taken some shots. Well, doesn't seem to be bothered by Usyk one little bit, and Usyk has taken some shots as well and does seem bothered. Chizuru is just looking to try and bully him at the moment, making that ring small, making it uncomfortable for Usyk. It's just the extra weight that's making the, the significant difference here because Chizuru, he might land on the shoulder or on the arm, but it's enough weight 
and powerbind him to move you say. Like that there. Half block with the glove, but oh. the half that landed really took an effect on you say. Yeah, he landed another borderline body shot earlier as well, and the Usyk didn't bother complaining about that. Just got on with it this time, and here he is, though, still backing up. There's been no sign of a, him asserting himself on Chisora yet. I mean, right now, all we've seen him from this fight is a guy that looks like he's been physically overmatched, trying to find a way to survive, and Chisora is giving him no breathing space at all. Landing the odd good left hand down on Chisora as Chisora comes in low. But nothing with any real significant power to trouble Chisora. But they are scoring shots. Yeah, he'll pick his shots and he'll find those openings because Chisora really is swinging for the, uh, the fences here and he picked up another sharp little right hand there, Chisora. That, oh, good, good left hand from Chis from Music, and that one hurt Chisora. It yeah. did hurt Chisora. Yeah. Handed lay on the, high on the side of the head. And here in the last minute of this third round, Chisora blowing a little bit. He's got to get Usyk out of there to have any chance. And at the moment, Usyk is starting now for the first time in the fight to look a little bit more comfortable. Starting to place his punches, you said. Yeah. And he's, put, he's making Chisora reach, and Chisora is burning up energy at some rate here. He's put so much into these first three rounds. <laughs> the last minute of this third round is the first time that Alexander Usyk has looked remotely comfortable. And I think when he hears the bell, he'll be a very happy man to go back to his corner and feeling, surely, well, I've seen the worst of what Derek Chisora's got to offer. And Chisora, I'm thinking, it, I'm sure he's thinking, I had three or four rounds to get rid of this fella. And three down, and he's still standing. Good body work at finish with the left hand to the chin. He stopped punching in this round, Chisora, halfway through the round. I think it was from the body shots. Go sap your energy. So this moment here, when he didn't look to, to come out of that corner, he just kind of stood there, resigned to the fact that, OK, I'm starting to tire now. And you is find the little spots where he can pick these shots now. Okay. Always a slow starter. If you're going to get Alexander Rusik, you have to get him early. I remember the start that Tony Bellew made after three rounds. You're thinking, oh, is there going to be an upset? And it was from round four onwards, really, that Usyk took complete control of that fight. And uh, he was just exhausted at the end of seven. Bellew was saying it's the pressure that he brings. It's relentless and constant. He hasn't been able to bring that pressure on Chisora, because Chisora has been the tough guy in there and lands a right hand. Just to put him back in his place. Usyk loves to apply pressure with that lead foot of his, that southpaw lead right leg, where he always feels like he's in range. Here, he can't apply that kind of pressure, because if he does get in range, Chisora will have a go. That's a different problem for him to solve here. Nice again from Usyk. You say nothing devastating there, Andy, but they're, they're hurtful, and there's a, and there's an accumulation of them that Chisora is starting to see now. Just can't pin him. Just can't pin him down, Chisora. Some decent shots here, Usyk, from Chisora. And it's just a, really the extra weight that's, that's making these punches look so significant because 
Good overhand right, partially blocked by Yusek there. Yeah. Yes, Chizora, doesn't want to be doing this, doesn't want to be allowing Chizora, um, you take the feint in front of him like that. Yeah, this is where Rusik wants to be right now. The Matador. Well, that's a sign here that Chizora just can't go the full three minutes now. Here in this fourth round. Is rallying again. Great effort this from Chizora. And another one that's borderline, and Usyk didn't like it again. Well, he's down, he's gone down, but was there a knockdown? No. Footwork. Everything just got tangled up. And I tell you what, Chizora, in these last few seconds of this fourth round, he's regrouped really well and he's really trying to rough Usyk up and make it hot again. Well, if Usyk thought he had him under control at the end of the third, he knows that Chizora's still coming at him. It's a much better round for the London man. I found the hardest little in that round, I'm not sure who I go for. Chizora with the pressure, maybe the two bigger punches, but Yusek was chipping away, finding these holes, finding these gaps. Give him water. Still picking some lovely clean shots, but uh, never mind. That's another question, isn't it? There's the uh, feet coming together. Uh, the feet coming together. Later in the round, saw the uh, the slip. All over the body shot to break. The uppercut's going to be there when he's slipping it overhand. Everything you're doing is perfect. Derek, concentration levels. Ten seconds. Derek. Yeah. Round five. Round five of this 12 rounder. Alexander Usyk. Running with the big dogs, not heavyweight. And with a real live one in Derek Chisora, and Chisora is still going for it big time here. Nice combination from Usyk, enough to have a reaction from Chisora. Yeah, this is good stuff from Usyk. All of that footwork, which is an absolute joy to watch. Not really seen much of the Usyk footwork through this fight. For that, you have to credit Chizora for uh, rendering it redundant. He's been able to use that footwork, but now he's starting to get those wheels under him here, Usyk, here in this fifth round. That's a danger sign for Chizora. Time and time and Chizora well now, you say. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, Swing and a missing a bit now, Chizora. Yeah. Good job, good job. Didn't miss, didn't miss with that. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't going to get caught again with those jabs, was he? he said, that footwork that just got him out of trouble. Staying in South Four here, Chizora. Uh, and now jabbing, you say. Something that we didn't expect. Now he's switched again. Oh, good, good left hand from you say. Good change of direction. Good movement again for Lucy. Suddenly that ring doesn't seem quite so small, does it? And he ha that's because he's slowed a little bit here, Chizora. That's all it's all it's taking. 
Usyk suddenly has a bit of space, a bit of breathing room, and if he can maintain this space, he'll pick Chisora apart. Two good shots there. Watch Chisora back on his heels. Chisora looking to load up again. This is what Chisora wants to do, get in and be rough. But well, that was a good round for Alexander Usyk. Control your breathing. Two. Deep as you can. Breathe. Relax. Okay, listen. The only reason why I put you in a couple of shots is because you're throwing singles here standing around, okay? Water? Yes. Control your breathing, please. So listen to me. Go back to your boxing. Control your breathing, please. Right now. Deep breath. So control your breathing. You got to get control. That's what they're saying to him, Alex Dimitriades in the corner. And the control now is definitely coming from Alexander Usyk. As he weathered the storm, as Chisora has shown him his worst. Round six, the feeling pre-fight. I'm sure you uh, agreed with these sentiments, Andy. With the longer it went on, the less chance there was for Derek Chisora. Well, we're approaching midway here, and Usyk is starting to look, if not comfortable, a lot more like the Alexander Usyk we've used, been used to watching. Chisora hasn't taken enough out of Usyk early. When he was fresh, when he had the uh, impetus, when he had the energy to really put it on him. He wanted, he should have... You hope to drain, drain Usyk and bring him down to his level, but he's not been effective with that. Just... Now Usyk looks quite comfortable. He's, he's, he's got a good room for himself. He's had a time you, Chisora, picking his shots well. Change the direction with his feet. Yeah, and he's got Chisora plodding after him here in this sixth round. He's so good at creating this separation. Yeah, that's what Chisora needs a bit more of. Take some of the stuffing out of this guy. Has his chance gone? Nice from Chisora. Left there, Rusik, didn't he? And the champ gets through, missing there, though. Rusik, but so too is Chisora. Such a master of judging distance, Alexander Usyk. He made a good point. I mean, he was in with some big heavyweights in his World Series of Boxing Day. Joe Joyce, you know, a big physical heavyweight. Now, and Chisora. Get something going here, and Usyk just tucks up, and it's all getting a little bit rough. And uh, I don't think Chisora will mind that one little bit. Uh, really chasing and putting everything he's got into this Chisora, but hasn't gone to the body a lot, Chisora. You know, for the bigger man to try and slow down the smaller one. Could go with you, could do with going to the body a little bit more. He's been head hunting, head hunting mainly in the fight. And Usyk's movement is just too good for that. So if that he, was it. Went to the body first, then went to the head. I just trying to say there, if he doesn't take something out of this round, and I think he's going to here as he tries to get rough again. But Usyk will be very, very happy. As Chisora's put in a big shift here with very limited success. He did a lot of chasing. It's a terrific effort, this from Derek Chisora. It really is. He is pushing this man so hard at the midway point. Really good fight so far. Yeah, this is, uh, he's trying to counter with the left hand, we know what he's doing. Yeah. Don't walk onto his shots. Nothing okay? there, he just tucked Move up so well there. Couldn't leave himself exposed at all. Control your breathing. 
and he's raking shots as Chisora's coming in. He's always looking to take a little step back to get out of range and then come back with a punch. Enough for you to miss, but enough for him to get back in range. Corners! Ten seconds. Okay. Second out, round seven. So we're going to round seven then, Alexander Isik. Against Derek Chisora, who's had an absolutely terrific six rounds. He's had some success, he's pushed Usyk very, very hard. But the Ukrainian is still there. And that is the really bad news for Derek Chisora. That's his best chance already gone. You know, it was all that talk, and you know, there's always talk in boxing about how camps have gone, and everyone was saying, though, what? He's in absolutely superb physical condition, he's in peak condition, they're better than he's ever been, Derek Chisora. I think they're right. He looks really very well conditioned tonight. He's, he's not out of this fight by no, no means. I was gonna say, if he he's going to be dangerous for every second of this fight. If he can keep it going, if he can take it deep. Who knows? I remember thinking after three rounds there's a danger he's going to blow himself out, but he's paced it well since then. Still got a long way to go, of course. Smart work from Yusek here with his right hand. Occupy, and he's using it to, to jab over Chisora's jab and then move himself to his right and out of danger. Good kind of left hook from Chisora. Loaded up with that right hand that got picked up. The work rate from Derek Chisora has slowed noticeably. And this is it, this is that pressure that Tony Bailey was talking about. That Usyk is always threatening something. A lovely little shoulder left hand, and then he was out of range and gone. Now, this is how Usyk would like the rest of this fight to be. He's picking a tiring and a slowing Chisora off now here in this seventh round. And Chisora needs to summon up. Some energy from somewhere. He says, not a lot showing from him here in this seventh round. And when you've and he's doing... not stepping across. He's not cutting him off. He's, he's allowing Newsek now just to circle the ring, and he's just following him. Uh, chasing an opponent in vain will take a lot out of you. Mentally, again, as much as anything. Which has always been doing a lot of chasing in this round. Usyk will let him carry on. They're coming looking for him. And he's up against the ropes there, then gets out of trouble. Tucked up really nicely there. Usyk. Oh, lovely combination. And that second one stuck. Uh -huh. He was wobbled. He was wobbled. Usyk not rushing in, doing anything stupid, but that was a lovely combination. Beautifully timed from Chisora. And it hurt him, and he's hurt him again. And Chisora is now in a bit of trouble, backing up and needed to hear that bell. He was unraveling there in that round. This man is now in control of this fight. And Chisora was in danger of hitting the deck there. Absolutely superb combination to set him up. Control your breathing, Derek. Control your breathing. Listen to me. Control your breathing. Open up. Open up. You control your breathing, Derek. Listen. Listen to me. You're standing still too long. That's why you're getting here. Do you understand me? So, do you understand me? Yeah. Don't stand fucking still. Get back to your jab. You're trying to power punch with him, and I don't want it yet. What we've got to do is we've got to jab him and move him. Apologies and when he's for the language. Power punch, we punch with him. Do you understand me? So, if you're slipping too much, listen to me. You can't keep all his fucking shots, okay? You can slip one or two, and that's it. Do you understand me? Yeah. Control your breathing, mate. That was your one fuck up. We're still winning around. We're still winning the fight. You will bring it back. Oh, do you understand? Yeah, do you understand? Yeah, okay, so I want you to make some jump with that. Round, round eight. Derek Chisora very slow getting off his stool. His trainer there saying, well, the reason you're getting caught is you're standing still. The reason he's slowed is because of what he's put into this fight so far. How much is left in the Chisora tank? I don't even think uh, Chisora believes what the Connor is saying that he's winning the fight. I don't even think he believes it. What else can you say to him, though? 
You can hardly say, can you? Go on, Derek. You know, you've had your best chance and you're, you're miles behind now. You can say, cut off the ring. Keep your hands up. Move your head. Yeah. He actually said you're slipping too much. You were using a crossbody defense at the start of the fight. It was effective. Now you've completely abandoned that. In and out of stance again. And it's Usyk, though, that's on the front foot. Usyk looking... Looking for the finish, but Chisora is still dangerous and maybe setting a little trap. Good job. Well, this is this is where a smart, experienced operator like Usyk, he's not going to walk into anything silly. As you say, he knows how dangerous Chisora is, even though Chisora doesn't look like he's got an awful lot left. It's only at this level against a big opponent like this. One punch can be a difference maker, and Usyk is not going to walk onto that if he can help it. This is smart from the Ukrainian. It's patient and it's intelligent. And he's just doing the simple stuff here, breaking up Derek Chisora mentally as much as physically, and another combination has Chisora rocked. Still a minute to go in this round, and he can pretty much pick shots where he wants now. If Yusek wants to make a statement at heavyweight, send out a message to Fury, send out a message to Joshua, then he should go and press now, try and get the stoppage. punches like he was. Just doesn't have the energy here in round eight. But when he is throwing, they're slower. He's telegraphing them, and Usyk is reading them so well. Usyk, patient. Risk averse. Chisora. Through. With the lead hand there, and then he takes one, and then Usyk creates that distance again. Last few seconds of a pretty uneventful round, but he lands a good combination there at the end of it. Usyk. Uh, Shizora goes back to his corner again, very slowly and muttering away to himself. Another round he got through without taking too much punishment, but he didn't deliver anything on the other end he of it. Took, he, he took enough of it, Nick. Believe me, there was a couple of times he was Let's right go, back on his baby. heel. Let's yeah. go. I, I can't see this going on much longer, the way it's looking. There's just so little coming back from Chisora, and yeah, there's that combination. Beautiful, beautiful combination. One, two, check hook. And he's fought well, Yusuke. He, he managed the fight well, you know. He soaked up early in the fight, used his footwork, took his lumps. And now that Chizor has still preserved enough energy and enough vigor to, to put it on Chizor when he's tired. Round nine then. Nick hauling along with former world middleweight champion Andy Lee here on the zone. Cutting punches there from Rusek. So fresh and comfortable now. It's turned into an Alexander Usyk kind of fight. This look for Usyk now to start throwing the left hand around the side like a looping left hand. He's been throwing it predominantly straight this fight. But I like it. He did against Tony Bellew to finish the fight. He threw a looping left hand. Something we might see here. Well, what we're seeing at the moment is Chisora back on the front foot. Having taken the last round off, pretty much. Oh, this is such a big effort from Chisora. Really has put in a shift tonight. Look back to the eighth round, it was all Usyk on the front foot here. Chisora's pushing him back, but can Chisora keep this going? This could be his last stand, his last big effort. Nice try. Yeah, Usyk was there. Big right hand, but Usyk saw it coming. Yeah, read it all the way. 
Lovely step out of distance yeah. from Yusuf. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. Chizora had a strong finish to this round. Uh, he really is putting everything into it. Also, Usyk back again. Chizora. Must be so frustrating for an Usyk opponent. So tough to land clean, isn't it? Getting in close here, it. Chizora. And had a bit of success, and then Usyk opens that gap up once again. She seems to do so effortlessly. The first of the signs I can see that Usyk is starting to tire. Maybe not fair, just starting to tire a little bit. Chizora capitalized. Oh, it's been such a great effort from Chizora yet. Yeah. Whatever happens from here, you have to admire the performance he's put in. Not many gave him a chance. A five to one betting underdog going into this one. But my goodness me, he is making Alexander Usyk work for this. Two deep breaths. Okay, you just got your wind back and you're boxing very well. Okay, you're looking really good. Just don't slip to the right for me, please. Okay, slip to the left. Every time you punch, Derek, he's going to punch. Okay, you're not 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 going to punch. Couple. Round 10, a lot of people didn't think it would go this deep, that's for sure. Derek Chisora is still there, still willing, still looking for the big shot that could change everything and that could change his destiny. Usyk, who looked like he was comfortable a couple of rounds ago, still can't get rid of him. That's one of Chizora's best punches this fight, turn and going southbound and throwing the right jab. And there he goes again. And he switches back out then. And looking to chase him down. Chizora still looking to just try and get in there, rough this man up. I think this has turned into a much tougher fight than Alexander Usyk might have been expecting, you know. Here we are in the 10th round and still Chizora keeps coming. Big right hand from the London man as well. Oh, what an effort from him. Is Usyk as well. Suddenly starting to take some shots here, Usyk. He has to fire back. Chizora here in round 10, dragging Alexander Usyk into a dogfight. And Usyk wants no part of it. Back on his toes again. Again from Chizora, working the body. Music again circling, looking to move, looking to keep it at range where he feels safe. Not 
We've seen a lot from the Ukrainian in this 10th round. And if Chisora was looking gassed a few rounds ago, boy, has he found his second win. And as you said earlier, in the last round, you said Elusik was looking just a little bit on the weary side. Ooh, that's a nice left hand again from Usyk. Chisora made to miss. Chisora just can't pin him down. He just can't, just can't get him in one spot for long enough to land Southern, Southern heavy. What an effort this has been from Chisora. <laughs> what a tough night this is turning into for Alexander Usyk. I think he always knew it was going to be this way. He said it wasn't going to be war, it was going to be peace, that it was going to be beautiful boxing. But uh, when you're in there with someone like Derek Chisora and he has that weight advantage on you, it was always going to be this type of fight. And I always thought the fight would get interesting if we got to the later stage. Uh, if Delboy could reach this, this stage of the fight, then it would be interesting because of the weight advantage, because of what he would take out of Yusei to get to this point. But it seems like Yusek is taking more out of Chisora that he's taken. The punishment he's taken is, has left him more worse for wear than it has Yusek. Two to go then. What uh, encouragement there is in the arena is for Chisora, who has put in a wonderful performance tonight. Still there here in round 11. Music starting on the front foot here. Shizora happy to take a breather here. Look at this. Well, Usyk didn't rush in there, did he? He's going to walk into that trap. Chisora finds something. It's a bit more like it, Usyk. That's another one of those combinations to work. Uh, working the body. That's what you were talking about earlier. A bit late in the day to be working the body, but he went for it there and again there. Chisora switching the attack downstairs here in this 11th round. But still doesn't cut him off, still doesn't step across you, so except that he's left. Now, can Chisora go to work here? Another thumping right hand to the body. Oh, he took some punishment there, Chisora, but he really is summoning up another huge push here. And he's got Usyk backing up, and Usyk is not enjoying this body attack one little bit. They're getting so animated in his corner, and Chisora couldn't keep him. He's hurt Chisora. Yeah. Big right hook coming out of the road from Usyk there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, 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 Walks on to a lovely little check hook there as well. Chisora. It does beg the question what we've seen here. Yeah, he's shaken Chisora a couple of times, but does Alexander Usyk have enough power in his arsenal to disturb the really big heavyweights? A couple of times he's had Usyk in trouble, uh, Chisora in trouble, and Chisora's managed to regroup and fire back. Now Chisora is hurt, though. And exhausted. Yeah, late in this 11th round, there is not much left. And there's not much left in this fight. Another big finish there from Alexander Rusic.
Chizora definitely slowed badly in that last round. Well, he had a good first, well, 75% of the round, first 75% of the round, he was, he was good. He was attacking the body and he was pressuring him, but just uh, caught with a shot. Oh, pressure new south the road, so just never recovered. <laughs> People expected to hear those words. 12th and last round. Good fight this has been. Is there any chance that Derek Chisora has saved up something for these last three minutes? Anything he's got left, it's time to bring it out. Well, he had that slow start, of course, Usyk, remember, before getting going, and then just when I think most people expected Chizora just to come apart, well, he's managed to find his second win. Really a testament to the work and the effort he's put into this. And all the talk about that. The dedication and the discipline he's shown in camp, well, is absolutely right. Absolutely outstanding performance from him. Less than two to go. And I don't think Usyk is going to be looking for any dramatic finish here. I think he'll just take what he's got. Terrific reflexes in the last round of a really grueling fight, and Usyk's got reflexes like that. It's another body shot, and then comes back with something. Chisora's eaten it up all night and still coming back for more. Again, working the body, then switching it back up, but time is against him. He's only got a minute. Chisora here. Countdown is on. Still firing, Derek Chisora, asking questions right through this fight. A couple of lovely left hands there from Usyk. Well, this is one of the questions that will be digested over the next few days and weeks. What does this performance say about Alexander Usyk operating at the highest level in the heavyweight division? Well, I think it shows that he can... He's there, he's, he, he, he deserves to be at this level with, the, with these guys. It's been a great effort by Cesaro, but... Too much class and too much craft in Usyk, for me, wins him the fight. But what a good fight that was. What a good fight, what an effort from Cesaro. I mean, if he has lost this fight, um, I think you and I both feel that he hasn't been able to just impose himself on it sufficiently if he has lost this fight. He, he, he can't go back to his dressing room and say, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. He gave it everything he had, and he really pushed Usyk in a way we've never seen Usyk push before. You will always feel I should have done that. You'll always have regrets. No matter what, no matter, even when a fight goes well. Maybe you could have cut him off a bit more, maybe you could have jabbed more, maybe you could have went to the body. But he still put in a huge effort. And had moments of success, especially early. Yeah. Well, I must admit, around the middle rounds, round seven, I think, jumps out when Usyk just looked at one moment as if he was going to get the stoppage. It came so late, and then Chisora regrouped so well after that. Boy, he's earned a lot of respect tonight, Chisora. 
Yeah, Usyk was pushed all the way. This is the fight that he needed as well, isn't it, Usyk? He didn't need a nice, easy push overnight. No, he needed to prove his credentials. He's calling out for the likes of Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. He wants to fight these big guys. You have to earn that right. Alex! This is his cruiserweight king. He's beaten one of the top heavyweights now, Cesaro. I think he's beaten him. After the last scorecard, I'm not even sure myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be a shock of shocks, wouldn't it, if uh, Chizora wins this on points? I don't think anybody saw that coming. It's funny enough, the, the cornerman of Chizora seems to think he's won the fight. Yeah, they were saying that all the way through, weren't they? Well, he's won some rounds, though, Chizora, no question about that. I wonder if he'd managed a sustained body attack earlier and consistently. I wonder if that would have been a difference maker for him. Now, that was something you were calling for. Gillian White looking on in the dressing room. He, of course, in action. He's in his uh, Portugal dressing room, of course. He's in camp. No doubt he's saying, yeah, I can take this Ukrainian. And Anthony Joshua, a very, very interested observer as well. Comes down to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Bob Williams, 117 to 112. Yuri Kotsev and Jan Christensen both scored this bout, 115 to 113, all for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBO Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Alexander Yeah, Usyk's got it. Usyk. Oh, he trudges away, Derek Chisora put everything into that. For whatever it's worth, 116-112 on this card. But everybody saw it in favour of Usyk. You couldn't really see it any other way. He got those early rounds in the bank, Chisora. And that was never going to be enough. He had to get him out of there. And Usyk yeah. was given a real test. And he's come through it. Yeah. Come through it well, actually. Um, managed the fight well. Chisora was always going to come heavy and hard like that, and it was always going to be a test physically and mentally to keep concentrating and try to stay calm emotionally when you're under that pressure. But he showed his class. He picked his spots and picked his punches well. Chisora, a huge effort. He's been a great servant to British boxing, and he probably will carry on fighting because he loves it so much. Well, why would you quit after a performance like that? I mean, He's that was a long terrific career. effort, though. How long can he go on like this, having tough fight after tough fight after tough fight? Well, he is such a warrior. He is so tough. Well, he's certainly given this fella a very, very stern examination, but it's another win on the road for Alexander Usyk. And he and his team will digest the lessons learned from this. And this is the big question. Could Usyk deal with and handle a big, aggressive, powerful, physical heavyweight like Derek Chisora? We got our answer. But it certainly wasn't a smooth ride for him. And all three judges seeing it in favour of the Ukrainian. Uh, a view re reflected in this commentary box as well, but a lot of praise goes to Derek Chisora tonight. Now that's as good a performance as I've seen from Derek Chisora in a long time. Maybe ever. Chisora? Yeah, oh, that was a terrific effort from him. For effort, yeah. He, he's had a renaissance. You know, he, he was, he's lost several fights, but has always come back better. I'm not sure if he can do the same after this one, because just because of the age and the manner of the defeat. He just was never really... Well, he was winning rounds, but it was always seemed to be that it was going to go the way of Usyk. Yeah, yeah. Once, once Chisora couldn't get Usyk out of there in those first two or three rounds, you kind of knew that uh, Chisora was going to be up against it. 
But uh, two. Well, he just didn't have, and he just didn't have the energy to catch him late, Evie. Yeah. You know, you always thought the middle rounds would be Usyk's, either early or late when Usyk is tired, that he might be able. But it just, just didn't take enough out of Usyk in those middle rounds. Yeah, that's to right. To have him worn down like that. But I think everybody said if this goes the distance, and most people thought it wouldn't. If this goes the distance, then Usyk will just outbox him and take a wide points decision. Well, that didn't happen. Not with two cards of 115, 113. He's really had to grind this one out, Usyk. He'll take a lot from this. He needed a tough, hard, physical fight against a durable and uh, game heavyweight. Well, that's what he had tonight. And I'm sure he will take an awful lot out of this. A really good fight. Lived up to its billing, that's for sure. Still undefeated. Uh, Just okay. needs to know which microphone to take. Here we go. A few questions. Alexander, yeah. congratulations. You're victorious after a tough heavyweight battle. How do you assess your own performance? Sang, поздравления. Как ты оцениваешь свое выступление? Yeah, I think good. Uh, my boxing. You know, it, this it's real testing heavyweight. You know, yeah, it's testing. Uh, sort of big guy, hard guy. You know, it's, it's beautiful boxing. I love boxing. Yeah. Was it a tougher fight than you thought? Это был жестче бой, чем ты предполагал. Как будто предполагал? Thought. I thought. I'm, I'm thought uh, his fight. Yeah. You, you were expecting the fight like that. Ты ожидал такой поединок, как Да, я ожидал такой поединок. Я думал, даже мы настраивались еще на более... I was expecting the fight like that. I was expecting even a tougher fight. Do you think that answered some of the questions as to whether you can be effective as a heavyweight, or did it pose more questions? Как ты думаешь, этот бой ответил на вопросы, сможешь ли ты хорошо выступать в супертяжах, можешь ли ты быть эффективным в супертяжах, или наоборот, больше вопросов оставил? I don't know. It's questions... Fans. Fans, как говорят, условные эксперты. Experts, brackets, you know, what I mean. What mark would you give yourself out of 10 tonight? Какую оценку из 10 сегодня можешь поставить? Себе? Three. Three out of ten? Yes. Okay, so room for improvement. Just moving forward for the future, Anthony Joshua was here tonight. Um, we don't know what's going to happen in the heavyweight division um, with both Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury having fights scheduled. You're obviously mandatory for AJ's WBO belt. What do you want to do next? Сегодня AJ был в студии, смотрел твой поединок. Ты все-таки в позиции мандатори. Назначены поединки Энтони и у Тайсона Фьюри. Непонятно, что будет с их следующим поединком совместным. Какие твои планы? Какое твое видение? Мои планы поехать домой. My plan go to do, uh, go my home. Uh, maximum time it's my family, uh, my gym. You know, training, дальше. Training forward, training improving, forward, training, improving training. myself. One year, I'm not boxing one year, you know. No practice boxing uh, competition, you know. Just finally, your English is great, by the way. Does the goal remain the same, to become heavyweight champion? And do you still believe you can achieve that? Последний вопрос. Остается цель та самая, стать чемпионом мира в супертяжах. Ты ощущаешь, что ты сможешь ее достичь? Absolutely champion of Mira. The undisputed heavyweight champion. Brilliant. Thank you very no much. No just world champion. No just world champion. No just world champion. Undisputed world champion. Brilliant. Yes. Thank you very much for trying that Thank English as well. Thank you for very much. Спасибо большое. Дякую. Uh, it was Ukrainian and Russian, thank you. OK, thank you very much. I'm going to ask you just to step out and bring Derek Chisora in. Derek, do you yeah. mind just stepping in and we'll, we'll um, speak to you live? First off, Derek, uh, how do you feel? Do you feel OK? I feel great, man. I'm just disappointed. Do you think that you won that fight? Yeah, 100%. I was, pace, I was pushing the pace. Yeah, I gave a couple of rounds away, but I was pushing the pace. 
but the judges saw it different ways. What do you think was working for you in there? It seemed to be the pressure that you promised was working at times. Pressure sometimes myself, Paul, and then my body shots. He was complaining to the ref, but he did. The ref didn't do anything. Thank God for that. Well, I'm just disappointed. You did get to him at times. Did he take a better shot than you thought when you let the right hand go and it found the target? He, he did seem to take the shot quite well. well he, he, when you're in there, man, you could take shots, basically. It don't matter who's hitting you, you just have to take them. It's a fight game. He did very well. Does this show, despite all your detractors, that when you're fully motivated and you really are on it, that you can be a real handful still at the top level? Yeah, but I'm just disappointed with the result. I basically guided. What do you want to do now? I mean, do you want to do you want to lobby for a, any sort of rematch? Do you think that he would take any sort of rematch? I think I'll, I'll make Haymaker do that. You know, we'll look at the fight again. And then uh, I'm surprised Eddie's not here because he knows I'm going to ever go in, but it is what it is. Just finally, before I let you go, just if you've got sort of final thoughts. I know, like, usually you'd be addressing the crowd now. There isn't a crowd here. There's a lot of people that supported you online and throughout the, the whole build-up. Yeah, man, you know, to, to everybody who can't make it, man, you know, uh, I'm just, um, I'm regarded for, for, for everybody, for myself, you know, with what's happening in the world right now. With the new lockdown we're going in, you know, just, you know, just stay safe, you know, and don't be depressed. You know, everyone will back, go back to normal soon, you know. Uh, just be kind to one another. This time we really need it because uh, we're all struggling right now. The world is bad out there. Well said. There's no doubt he's a quality operator. You've shared the ring with heavyweight world champions, genuine heavyweights. Do you think that he can go on to become uh, a heavyweight nah, world champion? No, because uh, you know, in the heavyweight game, we have to fight, not box. You know, half of the time I'm setting the pace, he was not setting the pace. You know, I gave a couple of rounds away. You know, 100%. You know, caught me some good shots, but it was not like painful shots. But you know what? He's boxing. You know, it has to be one loser, one winner. And uh, I'm just gutted. I'm just pissed off, you don't understand. I did work hard for this fight. It was a great effort and commiserations. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. And uh, everybody stay safe. Yeah, nice sentiments there from Derek Chisora, who genuinely thought he'd won it. But uh, he'll have to absorb that disappointment. What a terrific main event that was. Uh, looking back at it. Chisora certainly made the start we thought that he would make, and he had to make as well. He really got rough and physical and didn't respect the uh, Usyk reputation. Yeah, he came out like a steam train. Took it to Usyk. If he, you can hear in that post that I did, he feels really aggrieved. And maybe he has a right to, but... The cleanest shots for me came from Usyk. The craft came from Usyk. He always seemed to be one step ahead of Chisora after the first few rounds. The middle rounds were the tough rounds for Chisora, particularly round seven coming up. There was a point here where I thought, oh, uh oh, Chisora's ready to go here. Came very, very late. Some really nasty combinations coming in, and Chisora, for the only time in the fight, was really rocked there. He rallied so well. But as you say, you look at these highlights and you just see how clinical Usyk was. If there was anyone ever hurt, yeah, Usyk might have been hurt to the body in the fight, but I don't think ever to the head or to the chin. No. When you could see there clearly two or three times, it was Chisora who was hurt from, yeah. from, from shots to the head. He started off attacking the body, finished attacking the body, but ignored it too much in the middle rounds there, Chisora, and uh, he was just able to coast through this last round here, Usyk. Take a unanimous decision keep his dream of becoming an undisputed world heavyweight champion very much alive. Well, that wraps things up almost. That was our main event. It was a good one. Alexander Usyk getting the points decision against Derek Chisora. Tough and brave, coming up short. Earlier, we saw that draw between Amy Timlin and Carly Skelly. Ramla Ali, a winning debut for her. Tommy McCarthy doing enough to win the European Cruiserweight title. Savannah Marshall with a masterclass, stopping brave Hannah Rankin. And uh, George Camposos with the victory that still has Andy Lee and myself absolutely stunned. But it's he that moves on after getting the decision, a split decision, against the former featherweight champion, Lee Selby. So uh, that wraps things up. What are your thoughts, Andy, before we let you go? And thanks for being with us, by the way. But what are your thoughts on Alexander Usyk? Where does he go from here? How quickly can he operate at the very, very highest level in, in this division? I think he's just, he's there or thereabouts. I'm not sure he could step up to face Tyson Fury. I think that's a, Tyson Fury's in a league unto himself. 
we put him in with Joshua, I think he gives him a good challenge. Because of the technical abilities, his footwork, which a lot of fighters, a lot of heavyweights don't have footwork like that. Tyson Fury's the only fighter who has footwork like that. I think he's there or thereabouts with the tough guys. Well, it'll be fascinating to see how he develops. We've got plenty coming up here on DAZN. It's going to be a very busy few weeks. Lots to look forward to. Boxing history, you can pinpoint certain occasions in the sport that change the narrative. And it's part of sporting history, this. Rachel Ball, three-time world kickboxing champion. What a fighter we have now, Terry Harper. The undisputed lightweight champion of the world. The two-weight champion. Sheer will, determination, desire, heart, commitment. Denise Terry Harper. She is the youngest women's world champion in history. Harper. The next phase in KT's thrilling career. She will never ever duck from a challenge. Kay Taylor is an absolute legend of the score of boxing. What another magnificent moment for women's boxing. Yep, that's coming up in just a couple of weeks right here on DAZN, that wraps up our coverage of this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Nick Halling. He's been Andy Lee. He's been the man that's talking sense for these last few hours. It's been a pleasure to have the company of the former world middleweight champion. Hopefully we'll be working together again soon, Andy. But for now, from all of us here on DAZN, see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Yeah.